Hey, great people. This is Danielle Pierce here, creator of Real Estate Profit Lab. And this is going to be a good video uh, because I want to talk about why there's so much negativity about property preservation in so many of the Facebook groups that are out there. And I'm in a few of them, not all of them, but I'm in, in, in many of them. And I pop in from time to time and it's pretty much just the same thing. New people will come in and 80% of people are like, well, new people come in and they'll say, hey, I'm about to get started. What should I do? Or what company do you recommend? Or, you know, what do you guys think? Is this a good time? You know, et cetera, et cetera. And about 80% of the people will say things like, oh, better not do it. You know, this is a, a bad time. You, you better go. You know, I got out of the business, you know, 10 years ago. Or I, you know, you better go get a job at McDonald's and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then about, usually about 15, 20% of the time, there are some people who jump in and say, hey, you know, it's what you make it, just like anything else. And um, you know, you can still make money and it's still profitable and we're still doing well. But typically the the naysayers kind of drown out everybody else. And so a lot of people use that as kind of fuel to to not move forward. So I, I think I've said this before and I'll probably say it again. You can find support for whatever hypothesis that you have. So if you think that, you know, you're not going to do well, you'll find support for that. If you think that you are going to do well, you'll find support for that as well. But as far as the negativity now, just so that we're clear, some of it is, you know, has a lot of validity to it. Um, you know, there's a lot of shady companies, meaning the companies don't pay you or they take, you know, months and months to pay you. Or again, they just don't pay you at all, like I mentioned at first. So there is some reason for to be concerned about that if you're just signing up with companies, you know, willy nilly off of like Craigslist and, um, you know, mom and pops and, and local companies. And yeah, that's, a, that should be a concern of yours. So that's one reason why there's so much negativity too. the industry has changed. Of course, pricing has gone down, but honestly, I can't think of an industry <laughs> where that does not apply to. And what happens is when you've been doing something for a very long time and then it, it changes, you know, it, it kind of causes a lot of, um, conflict internally because you're like wow you know when I first started doing this 10 years ago things were like this and now things are not that way as you know most humans most of us do not like change some of us just adapt uh, better to it more so than others so that's another reason people just don't like change but again the prices have come down but I maintain that that is in line with <laughs> every other industry that's pretty much out there um, it is what it is uh, what's another reason for so much negativity? I think some people just, uh, people like to complain. So that that's no surprise. You'll always find those people there. But then also I'm, I'm certain, I don't know an exact percentage of course, because I don't know everybody personally in the industry. There's no way for that to happen. But just reading some of the posts sometimes and some of the, you know, the stories, I'm just like, yeah, kind of feel like you're leaving some shit out right here. Or, you know, you people, it's, if you don't do a good job, you're not going to get paid, right? And it's very rare to find someone who will come forth and say, hey, I kind of messed this up. I kind of half-assed this. I kind of didn't do what I was supposed to do. Like, I, I can't recall ever seeing anybody say that <laughs> or talk about that on social media. And, and what are the odds of that being accurate, right? So I do think that some of it is that people just aren't owning up to their part and why they didn't get paid or they ran into issues or whatever. So that, that's part of it as well. But let me just be clear about this as well. When people say things like, oh, you better go get a job at McDonald's. I'm convinced that those people have never worked at McDonald's because I have worked at McDonald's and IHOP and Burger King and Shoney's and what else? Hardee's and Solo Cup and Urbana Champagne when I was in college and then FedEx. And oh my God, I had so many horrible jobs, you know, and this started in high school up through like, you know, freshman, sophomore year of college. I worked at a grocery store. Uh, you know, those jobs pay nothing, right? Those jobs pay pennies. So when you tell me that working in property preservation with, you know, companies that are partnering with companies that are doing hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, right? When you tell me that that's the equivalent of working somewhere and getting paid $400 a week, I know you just full of shit right now, right? Because I've done that. And there's no way that if you're putting forth a solid effort in whatever market that you may be in, that you can't 
keep at least $50,000 a year. And that's on the low end. Like $50,000 is not a lot of money. But we're talking about after you pay, you know, contractors if you're going that route or just paying your expenses, which will be your insurance and things like that. So if you can't keep at least $50,000 for the year and you're with a national company, then you're doing something incredibly wrong, right? Because even if you can't make it with that one company, say you're in an area and there's not a lot of work there, you could either expand your area or you could work with partner with another company. There's always options that you have in order to expand your, your earning potential. Whereas working at McDonald's, I mean, your only option is to make an extra, you know, dollar an hour after, you know, working so many hours a day. Your only option is to get an extra 15 minute break if you work, you know, 10 or 12 hours. Like it is, it's, that's a ridiculous comparison and one that you never gonna catch me agreeing with um, or co-signing or promoting or even, you know, uh, I, I just, that's just not it. So again, you have to avoid the companies that are shady. That's, that, that's true. But if you're working with the national companies, if you're doing a good job, there's no way that that's the equivalent of working in a fast food place. Trust me, because I've been there, done that, got the receipts to prove it. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, again, as always, you know, check out propertypreservationmastery.com or daniellepierce.com for more info. But yeah, don't, don't buy into that hype. Um, there's, if you pay attention, you'll see, you know, some people in all the groups who consistently will say things like, well, I made the most money doing this, made more money doing this than I have doing anything else. So I'm good. I can't speak to what everybody else is talking about, but I'm okay over here. So I feel like those people mind their business and do their work and they get paid. So, and that's what you should aspire to be doing as well. All right. That's all I got for you this, today. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.